good afternoon so we're going to study the book of Romans and I bought a book for 99 cents but look this doesn't have any uh, writing on it so how do I know it's the book of Romans because it is also the Arabic version of John and Romans I got the see at bookstore for a dollar check that out you can so you can study the Arabic if I don't know the Arabic <laughs> but I thought it was cool so I got it all right and I got a bookmarker too so I know what chapter we're on all right I hope you guys are having a great day uh, we're on chapter 6 today but let's pray thank you Jesus uh, for the Word of God Lord help us to be uh, new every day new in praises new in thankfulness new in peace new in our joy for you thank you jesus give let us give all things to you in jesus name we pray amen all right let me see if i can get this done uh the first part is the first 14 uh 15 verses so uh 14 verses actually and it goes up to here, then there's another topic. We'll try to get to that uh, within 15 minutes. Um, okay, so the first topic is dead to sin, alive in Christ. It's pretty simple. And here's the, the text in Aramaic. Uh, not Aramaic. Uh, 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 <laughs> gosh, I can't remember. But that's, I just said it, oh, well, I'm not going to do it over. All right, okay. So, let's read it. Dead to sin, alive to Christ, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin, that grace may abound? No way. <laughs> or, oh, vey, God forbid, how shall we, that are dead to sin, Live any longer therein. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were baptized, we were buried with him by baptism into death. That, like as Christ was raised from the dead. By the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. That's the, the thing. We should reject our sin nature. Reject it. Surrender it. Um, cast it to Jesus. Cast it to God. Always looking at our thoughts. Examining our thoughts to see if... Anything um, is not pleasing our Lord. Because Jesus, uh, he was perfect and we want to be like him. And so in being like him, we have to be diligent in looking at our thoughts, looking at our actions, um, and seeing if they match up with what Jesus taught. He taught that we are to love our brother as ourselves and to love him with all of our heart these are the things that he taught they were really simple things they weren't difficult things to follow but the thing is even though um, they don't sound difficult the Bible also says in 1st Thessalonians that we should abstain from all appearance of evil and that's something that we do we and sometimes we think we're doing a right thing uh, but ends up it's wrong so we need to apologize um, even though um, we thought it was a good thing but really, it's uh, it ends up being not so good. 
and we need to ask God for forgiveness so just like Jesus said that we were baptized into his death we were buried with him unto into death that like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we should walk in newness of life this is the the picture that that Paul gives that we when we were baptized in water or in the Holy Spirit we surrender our we reckon we first recognize Jesus death burial and resurrection in our own lives and then try to live it out and then try to live it out from that uh, day onwards all right for if we have been uh, planted together in the likeness of his death we've been cemented yeah we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection you know we recognize as we recognize Jesus death burial and resurrection and we're firm in that faith we're planted together in his likeness like just like he died and was buried he also came again he proved that he was God by um, by the words that he said by the actions that he did knowing this that our um, old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin for he that is dead is freed from sin amen so when we make a choice to follow Jesus we are choosing to die to sin when we realize that when we're choosing to die to sin we have to look at the things that we think do and say that that might displease God I realize that I have made mistakes and it might seem that it was good in my own eyes but you know a man's ways are different than God's ways and his ways are right so even though I might it might seem good to me or I might have a good motive for doing something it's also uh, good to see what God God's will is and if we're doing wrong and he reveals that we were doing wrong we need to ask for forgiveness and move along and then walk in newness of life that's what we need to do just move along surrender it and move along and walk in newness of life just keep going keep trying keep striving to work out our salvation with fear and trembling all right now see where, where where was i knowing this that our old man yeah i got that um so that we should not serve sin for for he that is dead is freed from sin now if we be dead with christ uh let's go to the right side we believe that we shall live with him knowing that christ being raised from the dead died no more death and death has no more uh, dominion it has it has no power it has no authority over him it has no right over, over jesus and we believe that too when we believe in Jesus as our Savior, 
we believe that even though we will have we will all die and face judgment that death the second death will not have dominion over us that our judgment is going to be different than a man's judgment who refuses to believe in Jesus for in that he died he he died unto sin once but in that he lived he lived unto God that's the picture of a person who surrendered his life to Jesus that is the picture that we need to to look at and to emulate walking after Jesus one day at a time giving our thoughts to him evaluating our our thoughts so that we line up with what God's word says like likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies in your mortal body that ye should obey the lust thereof neither yield your members as instruments of righteousness or unrighteousness unto unto sin but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace this dominion I thought it was empire I think it's more like the empire God's kingdom, God's empire, <laughs> uh, is more important than sin's dominion through the law. Once we receive Jesus, we are given the authority, the power to become the children of God, even to those that believe. And those that believe have the authority to become uh, like God. And to have his righteousness charged to their account. And to be instruments to his righteousness. And to be, um, and to take authority over uh, not only your body, but those things which uh, get in the way from having a abundant life. Where to take take authority over um, demons or to take authority over those things which um, are getting in the way if you believe that you have been treated unfairly by God you can go directly to him and ask him for forgiveness and also ask him to try your case ask him to uh to be your savior through thick and thin. Thanks, guys. All right, bye.